Hello and welcome to Cookies Game Point. Guess what we're doing today? Yes, it's another budget gaming gear unboxing. Today we are going to unbox the Bazalius X1 USB gaming mouse. It has 2000 DPI. The whole box is in Chinese, so we won't really go much into that because although I can read it, it will take a very long time for me to translate everything. So this Bazalius mouse cost me $19.99 on eBay. This includes shipping, by the way. I bought the white color. This comes in black as well, but the black comes in a number of different light colors. Some people have said that they ordered the blue one but got the red light or they ordered the red light and got the blue light. So let's hope that I they don't have this problem with the, the white version of the mouse. <clears throat> Alright, so we have the preview of the mouse as yeah. usual. This is a little smaller than uh, the Mazer Type R mouse that I got previously. So uh, I think this should be a lot more comfortable in terms of size at least. So this is compatible with Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Linux. I don't know why they put Red Hat larger than the actual Linux wording, and a Mac. So we have three DPI settings, 800, 1200, and 2000. It's heavy, that's the thing, and uh, also we have the scrolly scrolly mouse. Scrolly scrolly mouse wheel thing. That's basically it from what I can <laughs> read from the box itself. Let's open this up. Uh, Thank god I have nails to do. Okay, let's see what we have. Wow, this is a this is a tough box, guys. Eey. At least you know it's sturdy box, that means the thing is actually safe. Wow, that's a lot of packaging. It means your mouse is completely safe and it's it's also a lot easier to take out than the Mazer type R. Eh, that's one thing to note. Alright, this mouse is also plug-and-play by the way, so also this one does not have programmable keys. Alright, so we have unboxed the mouse and it's noticeably... It's no noticeably sort of lighter, I guess? I have my Mazer right here. So the Mazer is a little... Hmm. No, this, this is actually heavier than the Mazer. So that means that uh, this probably has more control. So looking at the DPI switch key, um, it seems that the key seems faded. That's not a good sign. I, I kind of don't like the design of this because it's just like, hey, there's holes everywhere. But then it's not like my my um, my hands will go in the holes or anything because that would be kind of strange if that happened. But yeah, I guess that, that, that was how they managed to keep this at a very low price. Noticeably, like, it's nice here at the bottom as well. They put some detail into the bottom so it looks like they actually cared. Whereas this it was just kind of like, hey, you know, let's just put some stuff here. The wheel is okay. Uh, let's see, clicking, clicking, clicking. Yeah, and it's easy to press compared to the Mazer Type R and it's it's similar to my Logitech mouse, so I'm really comfortable with this. This thing has six keys, uh, mouse one, mouse two, mouse three, uh, these two keys over here on the side, and also this middle key over here. The rest is also quite comfortable. It's, I feel like it's a lot more comfortable than this. We have a, we have a braided cable, I mean, usual braided cable. The braided cable is white, and uh, there's no logo on the USB. The white thing, I hope it doesn't get dirty easily because that, that would really suck. That's... Eh. So we're going to plug this in. We're going to um, test it for maybe one or two days and see what the mouse is like. Hello and welcome back. It's been two days since the unboxing video and I'm here to give you my opinions on the Bazalius X1 gaming mouse. So first of all, let's look at the outside of the mouse. As you can see, we have the correct colored light. It's blue! Yay! And as you can see as well at the bottom, the 
The laser is blue as well, and the grill here is blue too. So, you know, there's there's at least a consistency in the blueness. But as you may notice, this is slightly lighter shade than this one. So it's a bit of a design issue here that, you know, the colors are not exactly the same. But it's not too big of a problem since it's not like lots of people will care about that, at, at least at this price range, I feel. Additionally, the DPI switch does have um, different um, lightings, as you can see. Right now, we are on 800 DPI. This is 1,200 and this is 2,000. So it gets brighter depending on the, the DPI setting. But as you can see, when you switch from 800 to 1,200, it becomes really light when you press and then just decides to dim itself down to 1200 and then it goes back it goes back to its brightness again when you click to 2000 again another design issue but you can let that slide it's not like it totally matters what matters is that it you feel comfortable with it right unfortunately this is not the case with this mouse so the basalius let's compare it to my two mice Two mouses. Let's go with mouses for this whole video. So let's compare this to my two mouses. So we have the Logitech here and also the Mazer Type R from the last unboxing video. So as you may notice, the curvature on the two mouses here are a lot higher. The arcs are higher. That means there's more of an angle. There's more support for your hand as you can see. It's really comfortable using these because of the support that they have. Whereas the Basalius it is flat. It is largely flat. So while you're playing, you have to rely on yourself to support your hand like this. As you can see, there's like a gap over here. So it's already tiring enough that you have to click so much around. And adding the fact that you have to support your hand, it just really, really makes it tiring. In addition to that, there's an issue with like the actual clicking itself. So as you may notice, it sounds very, very heavy. And it is actually really, really heavy. It takes a lot of effort to click the keys. And my fingers are already quite tired from clicking them. Also, the scroll wheel, there's a bit of a resistance. So it's also quite difficult to scroll up and down. And the two buttons here on the side as well, they are actually quite difficult to click with the whole added fact that you have to support your whole hand. So overall, this is a very, very, very fatiguing mouse to use. Alright, so I have brought up the desktop for you and now let's test the DPI settings of this mouse. Let's first start with 800. So this is 800. You can see not much movement even though I'm moving a lot this is 1200 a lot more movement and then this is 2000 suddenly a huge jump so my issue with the 3 DPI settings is that there is a huge difference in the differences between the three settings so the first jump from 800 to 1200 is only a difference of 400 dpi whereas the jump from 1200 to 2000 is a jump of 800 so it might take a while to get used to the difference whereas in the Mazer type r the differences between the four dpi settings were all 400 by 400 dpi so it was a lot easier to get used to the new settings after you switched to the next level. Whereas here on the Basalius, you have a bit of an issue because it's really awkward when you jump between the different levels. So that is a really, really big thing that bothers me with it in, um, addi in addition to the fact that it causes a lot of fatigue. So all in all, I wouldn't recommend this mouse for the price that I paid for it. Considering that the Mazer was about $2 cheaper, the Mazer is $2 cheaper, it has 4 DPI settings, it reaches 2400 DPI, and it has the same number of keys, and it also has better support for your hand. So 
if you are looking for a cheap mouse, I'd recommend the Mazer rather than the Buzzalvius. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful and informative. Before I forget, huge shout out to Casey from the Sega Pit. I sent him some Glico caramel candy boxes, Star Wars things, and he made a video of him opening the parcel up. So I'm gonna put a link to that video somewhere here, somewhere here, and you can just check it out. He has some cool reactions to the little drawing that I sent him. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.